Yeah, what we've been doing is nothing compared to the observations that we've been making with our new satellite. It's able to use new rays to infiltrate into new areas and discover new forms of energy or other things that were not previously visible. I know, but it's such new technology. I mean, just like anything else, there are always bugs to work through, or the possibility of malfunctions. Can we truly trust it? Or think so? Well, you're all right with the possibility of malfunctions, but we have all kinds of sensors in it would tell us of possible errors. Most likely, we will not have much trouble in that area. Was that the message notification? Yes, let me open it. Message to Area 1B. Our research laboratory has lost contact on Island Sigma 8. We need to re-establish contact. End message. Ugh. That can only mean one thing. They're going to send me to the island to figure out what's going on. Lucky you. But I will check satellite imagery first. Sorry, but there's a problem. Our satellite for some reason is not working over that area. Could it be a storm? Or just some other energy interference? <sighs> Looks like I'm going to the island after all. Reeves, I'm very appreciative that you came with me. I really didn't want to do this by myself, and I'm having peculiar feelings with what our top employment has been asking us to do. Look, it's a bother to us all. Nobody wants to do this stuff. I didn't want to do it, actually, but I've heard about the research facility on Island Sigma-8. I understand they're conducting special tests of some kind. Yeah, they are. I'm not sure about all they are testing, but I understand that part of it will have to be underground. Gentlemen, your employer has graciously requested that we do everything to keep you more comfortable. Is there anything you would like? Yeah, if it's not too much to ask. I'm a bit hungry. What's good on the menu? Well, a Salisbury steak is a must on this flight, sir. That's it. I'll take it. Coming right up. Very attentive. They are prompt, but it's no biggie. I mean, we're the only two passengers can't believe top management is okay financing trips like this. Doesn't it get expensive? Oh, very much so, I'm sure. But you know them. This research on this island is super important to them. That's why they're willing to spend top dollar. I just hope everything goes well. What do you suspect happened? Why did they lose communications? I don't know, but a lot could happen. Could be something as simple as equipment malfunction. They have multiple connection devices to our satellites, but they only have one internet module. If that stopped working, all their communications would be lost. Ah, that would explain it. That should be it. And I'll have to fix it. I may need your help for a bit, but then the rest should be just my work. You'll get a free Highland vacation the rest of the time. <laughs> yeah, playing on the beach. I haven't brought my swimming trunks. Here you are, sir. One Salisbury steak. Thank you. Wow, they weren't kidding. That's got to be one of the best I've ever eaten. I'm glad it satisfies you.
Reeves? Reeves? Huh? Uh, what? The weather has changed outside. Ah, uh, so you're right. I wonder how far we are away from the island. Excuse me, um, but do you know how far we are away from the island? We still have two hours. Sit tight. We'll let you know when we are ready for descent to the runway. And? They said two hours and more. Ah, not too bad. But two hours of rain. I wonder if we'll have to land on it. I understand our pilots are very good and skilled. That's why they do the island runs. Yes, but have they landed in rain before? Oh yes, of course. For pilots, rainy island bearing is our way of life. Do not worry. They know what they are doing. <sighs> I'm a bit hungry. I'm going back to get some food for myself. Be my guest. I got personalized service. I didn't have to go back. suddenly got the feeling of someone watching me, but out the window? What did you choose? Just odds and ends and a few snacks. Oh, that's nice. Hey, may I ask you a rather peculiar question? Oh sure, I expect. Do you feel something? Like, something odd? Something odd? Um, no, I don't think so. What exactly are you meaning by that? Oh, I don't know for sure. It's hard to put into words exactly. It's just, when I was in the back getting snacks, I suddenly got the weirdest feeling. What feeling? Like, I was being watched. Being watched? <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious. How could that be? I don't know. Doesn't make sense. What could do that? Maybe it was gremlins. Gremlins? Have you not heard of them? Um, yes, but on a plane? Yeah, that's where the tales of gremlins originated. Years ago during the old wars, when something unexplained and terrible happened to a plane, they'd blame it on gremlins. Fictional creatures that'd get on your plane and tear it apart. Oh, I see. Well, and I certainly don't believe in gremlins. I know, I was just making a joke. Excuse me, gentlemen, but the rain has increased in intensity. We suspect a slightly heavier tropical storm. Nothing to be alarmed about, but please buckle up. Gremlin storm. Things out there seem to be getting worse. Right, I hope the pilots are up for this. Excuse me, gentlemen. I hate to alarm you, but we see a dark cloud in front of us near where the island should be. We are about to go in. What was that? S sorry, entering massive storm. Hang on. We are in a massive storm. Holy cow! Oh gosh, hold on! Oh, my lunch. I think I shall lose it. What's that siren? Sorry everyone, but something is malfunctioning. We are losing control. Oh my gosh! What's that? What? I... 
Oh, we're going down! Reeves? Uh, Reeves? Oh, I'm here. Oh, what happened? Do you not remember? Oh, I hit my head, I think. No, I, I just remember being on the plane. Something malfunctioned on the plane. Then an explosion. We went down. We, we crashed? How'd we survive? I don't know. Wait, where are the pilots? Oh no. Both dead. They didn't survive. Come, let's bury them. To those two honorable men who have just given their lives, they are only doing their job, and in the face of life's storms, they fulfilled their duties to the best of their abilities. May you forever rest in peace. This is incredibly sad. I would not have wished such a tragedy upon them. I hope they are in a better place. At least better than ours. For now, we are in a mess. Crashed an island Sigma-8. And without our pilots, we're going to have to gather things together, look at our resources, and try to decide where we are and where the research station is. What? Don't you know where it is? No, I've never been here before. It wasn't my job to memorize the whole island. I'm just supposed to fix their communications. Or find out why they aren't talking? That was part of the description, wasn't it? Yes, I, I suppose. I think the storm may have had something to do with it. They might be in serious trouble. Then all the more the reason to hurry up about our business. Our first business, of course, is shelter. Can we use this plane? Wait. Oh, that, that smells like fuel. That could be very dangerous. Let's put out the fire quickly, then pull out supplies. This is everything. Now a shelter? Yes, but what's that over there? Get it? This doesn't make sense. I've never heard from reports of anything like this on the island. An anomaly from the storm, perhaps? Yeah, 
perhaps. Well, I think a shelter inside the plane sounds secure, except for the possible fuel leak. For safety, I say we make a makeshift shelter. There is the jungle right there, and we could use some of the resources in there. I found hatchets. Let's chop some down and make a little shelter away from the shoreline. If the plane is still nearby, then in an emergency I suspect we could still go into it for shelter. That's a good idea. Gee, I sure hope nothing bad happens to it. All resources are inside. Good. Now to get a bearing. Look here. I found a compass. Sadly, since I don't actually know where the facility is, I can't locate it right away. But at least we can know where we are. So if we fail and venture on the island, we can still find our way back. That is good. Yeah, I might give you the compass later, but for now I'll be looking at it. Um, okay, looking that way. Yes. We would have to be on the western shore. So, now we need to decide which way it is we plan to go to look for things. Question, do we explore around the shoreline or into the jungle? Oh, shoreline of course. We can see better. Jungles are thick, and it could be filled with all kinds of animals. Here, let me look at the time of day. Yes, we have a few hours before sunset. Let's go out an hour, then come back, okay? Fair enough. Look at that sun. Yes, we've gone as far as we can today. Let's go back. I'm going to make a fire. I'll put something around it so we can sit and warm ourselves. So, I hate to mention this at night when it's so dark, but I feel I must. Um, do you remember how I told you I felt like something was watching me? Oh yeah, so? Well, later, just before the plane went down, I looked out the window, and even in the ferociousness of the storm, I thought I saw something outside. Outside the window? Yeah, it's hard to explain. It was difficult to see, and it was only for a moment. 
But seriously, it looked almost like a face. Oh, gee, creepy. Are you saying that just to try to scare me? Of course not. I wouldn't do that now. I just thought you should know what I saw. Gee, like a gremlin. But of course, I don't believe in that. Things were crazy at that time. You were probably just seeing things from all the adrenaline. Of that, I find myself very hopeful. Distant thunder? Probably the storm. I sure hope it doesn't come back. Let's go to sleep. feeling again, like I'm being watched. I see it is sunny still. You missed it then. You are a sound sleeper. It actually rained again in the night. Oh? Huh. Surprising. I woke up in the middle of the night. And I... What? <laughs> Never mind. Well, so now we have a full day ahead of us. Yes. Let's go get supplies together. Do we just go south shore again? I guess so. Let's go most of the day, and let's bring extra things in case we can't get back in time at night. Once again, fair enough. I think I see something. That looks interesting. Let's get closer for a better look. Is that a tree house? Sure looks like it. Wow, but how? I don't remember anything about a tree house on the island. There are a lot of grindstones. Looks like a work area, but old tech. I would almost guess this was a place where someone was a castaway, which also doesn't make sense to me. Quite odd. And no other signs of venturing, except... Hey, I'm going to open these barrels. 
Oh. They're both empty, except this one. Look, you see? It's a book. What's it say? Huh. Um, it's like 20 pages long, but it's all gibberish. Some of it's strange characters, and the rest just... I cannot understand it. It doesn't even look like a language. It's almost just rubbish altogether. Why would somebody write such a book? I don't know. Hey, wait. Hold on. I think I heard something. Do you hear it? Yeah, I hear it too. What could that be? I think I see something off in the distance. Holy canola! Those are wasps! But they are huge! Run! Take shelter in the jungle trees. That was far too close. Oh, what happened? How can wasps that big exist? That's not possible. Not even scientifically possible, do I think. This is crazy. What do we do now, huh? I think a return on the beach would be suicide. I think even just one sting from a wasp could kill us. If not the venom, maybe even the puncture alone like being skewered. Let's stay on the side of the jungle and start to head back to the plane. Hey, a parrot. It's cool. Yeah, but we haven't time for it. Aw, but it seems lost. Look, it's following me. Okay, if you can't get rid of it, I guess it will come along. I can't believe we finally made it back. Hey, what's that? Huh? Rotting flesh. That's kind of creepy. It looks like something made a kill here. Then why didn't they eat the flesh? Um, I don't know. Gosh, that does sound creepy. Hey, it might create a scent. I'm going to dispose of it so nothing will track it. I hope we don't regret today. What if those wasps followed us? 
I think we would have seen them by now. Hey look! The parrot is lonely! He wants to sleep with us! Yay! Are we exploring again? Yes, but the other way, just in case. Wow, that looks cool! Impressive. Did you know about this? No. Again, nothing in the reports about this. Too bad. Might be a sign we are not close to the facility of Sigma-8. I wonder if maybe there's much on this island that they haven't explored. Maybe we don't know about a lot of these things. Or the giant wasps? Oh gosh, do you think the giant wasps could have attacked the facility? That's a horrible thought. But it would explain a lot. Let's pray that isn't what happened. I almost feel they would have sent out a message beforehand, even before equipment could have been destroyed. a long ways down. Hey, I want to drop a stone block down. Wow. Nothing here at the end, as I would have suspected. What? Okay? I felt it too. It's like someone was watching us. Oh gosh, maybe we should leave. Hey, wait a minute. There wasn't lava in the arch cave before. Was there? Not that I can remember. I think we should go explore in there. But we haven't got a boat, and I don't know how to make one. Let's just chop some wood and float on it. We can paddle with our hands. Okay. This is a very strange phenomenon. I don't think it's normal for it to be coming from atop the arch. It should only be coming from the bottom. That is strange. What the? <laughs> oh. That does it. Science goes out the window today. 
That was some shadow. Almost like a ghost. A paranormal experience. I told my mom I didn't believe in ghosts. Now I think I'm wrong. Or something else might explain it. I've heard of strange mental things happening to people who get stranded. Something with cortisol. I wonder if we are hallucinating. Hallucinating the same thing? Yeah, I don't understand that part. But maybe we did. Ghosts just don't make sense. Well, either way, I'm done with this place. Let's go back right now. What is this? This wasn't here before. Wait. What? No. Oh! Those sheep are half eaten. Oh, how are they alive? Run! This can't be good. Okay, those look almost infected. It's like zombified sheep. First ghost, then half-seaten zombie sheep. What's next? You sure we're still hallucinating? This time it seems more real. Maybe we are not. Maybe all of this is real. This can't be good. Okay, I'm convinced now. And I'm also convinced that we can't go back in there. It's too dangerous. We have to leave. In the dark? I think we need to get to the facility. Hey, wait. Look! It's my parrot. Hello, little fella. Silly parrot. Okay, let's go. This is odd. This sign looks like an iron processing place, but a strange small hut. I wonder why. Making something with iron? Maybe. I thought I heard footsteps. It's blood red! Let's get out of here! Woo! I think we are safe. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. This can't be good. Yeah, we are in serious trouble. And things seem to be worse at night. Let's find a place to lay low for a bit. But for a little further off, we have to get sleep. Let's just travel for a little more at night.
We survived the night. Do you still have the compass? Thanks. I think I'd like to use it. Okay. I say we try to head north. There's more island, I think. And maybe we will get closer to the Sigma 8 facility. Say nothing. Maybe it's a trick. Be quiet. Let's keep going. That's it! I recognize it from the pictures! Look at it! That's the facility, Sigma-8. We found it! Good show, but be careful. I have a bad feeling about this place. Why? Because I don't see any people. Come on, be quiet. Is there a key to get in? It's a code. I'll input it.
This is the lobby and initial research area. I'm going to log into the computer to see if there's anything there. Hmm. Almost all logs and programs look normal. It's almost like nothing was out of the ordinary, but suddenly everything just stopped. Like everyone had to suddenly leave fast? Possibly. Hey, look at this over here. Pufferfish experiments? What? Experimenting on animals? What kind of a facility is this? They don't actually experiment on them. They are nice to the animals. But pufferfish are supposed to have medicinal qualities. They are probably looking into that. Good. I don't like animal cruelty. Still no signs of anybody. My, sure looks pretty out there. All this beauty. So why would they leave? If in fact they did, and I still don't see anything that would signify loss of communication. Still all normal. Hey, storage bins. There are still things in them. Medical supplies. And food. I'm taking it. Hey, can you understand these gauges? Yeah, and they all look normal. Nothing wrong. Where does this ladder go? to the upper communications floor. That's where I expected I'd be fixing things. I hope we find some answers. There's someone here! Hey, are you alright? Uh, what? No! No! Leave me alone! No! No! What's wrong with him? I don't know, I can't tell. You have the medicine, right? Yes, I'll give him some. He's choking? But how? He's dead. Dead? How? That shouldn't have killed him. I know, but could you feel it? It's like he didn't want to go on living. All willpower gone. It's like he wanted to die. I'm surprised. I wonder how long he's been like this. Days? Weeks? Who knows? Only to die now. Well, we found someone. But what about everyone else? Where'd they go? I don't know. Gosh, I wish this man would have lived. We could have asked him and learned so much. What about the computers? I'll check. Hmm. There's a notepad entry here. Someone was writing an equation, but then they stopped and finished writing something else. What? It says, distorted out, and then it ends. Something was distorted? Like communication waves? Let me see. Yeah, okay. I'm actually looking at the signal. Hmm. It looks like everything is working, but there is interference. 
Could that mean something is wrong with the equipment? Maybe. I'll have to go up and physically check it. I'll be right back. Hey, this is crazy. The equipment is all in top shape. There's nothing wrong with it. It should be working. Then something else is causing the distortion? Yeah, something external. A storm? Maybe, but the storm we went through is not over this island. But it could be a ways off in the distance. Maybe, like near the island, to create the distortion. But that wouldn't make enough sense. Sure, it could affect things, but it wouldn't cause distortion at the source. No, I don't actually think it's a storm. Something else is causing it, and I don't know what. Well, it looks like we are getting to the bottom of this. Though it seems like no good. We are in trouble. We can't get off this island even if we do find out. Our only hope is if they send someone else for us again. A boat or a plane, but I wonder if that same storm is there. It could cause tons of trouble. And that'd be bad. Super bad. I hope that doesn't stop it. Gosh, we need to find our own way off this island. You're right, but now what do we do? I don't know. Be very quiet. Um, that tree wasn't there before, was it? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, no, it wasn't. But how'd it get there? It looks almost like a trail behind it. A walking tree? <laughs> the tree is alive! Run! I have a theory. I think the tree attacked the facility and killed everyone there. It's possible, but it doesn't explain the distortion. Okay, what now? Hopefully not get too wet and exposed to the elements. Another sound? Skeleton horse? How? This gets creepier all the time. Wait, something else. That was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. There was actually someone riding that. What did you see? They were all crazy looking. And the black looked like nothing was inside. All was empty. It was dark. I could feel something dark about it. And they seemed like... Distorted? 
Yeah. Maybe that thing we saw, or person, or, or ghost, whatever, is the source of the distortion. Could be. Then we are in trouble. Yes, and I don't feel safe here at all. Let's move. We are close to the mountain. Let's climb it. Golly, you sure can see a lot from here. Hey look, a tiny hole. Wait, it actually goes into the mountain. It's a super small cave. Are you going inside? Just a little ways. Wait, it keeps going. Good thing I found stuff for more torches. Let's keep going.
never seen anything like this before either. I wonder if we are safe in here. Possibly. Hey, do you remember how they were going to conduct some of the science experiments underground? I wonder if this is the place. I wonder if this is what they were going to do. Though this big cavern and everything, it, it doesn't hardly make sense. This is weird. I'm cold. I'll make a fire. I actually have quite a bit of food with me that I found at the facility, and the water down here is clean, I'm sure. If needs be, we could survive down here for a while. Then what? No one will find us down here. What if we waited for a while? Maybe the storm would end. Maybe we could build a raft and raft out of here. Maybe. And we could take lots of water. And wait. Oh! Hoo -hoo, look! I didn't even notice. I found an electric mag pulse water purifier. They work better than most and last a while. We could purify water for months with just this. It even filters out salt water. Then we'd have plenty of water. Gosh, you know, it could just maybe work. Okay, let's stay here for a while and rest. How long do you think? A week, I think, would give plenty of time to clear everything out. A week? Spend a week down in this forbidden cave? It would seem like the best thing. Yeah, okay, I think you're right. Okay, we do have everything, but gosh, there's just something about this place that terrifies me. Always the deep dark places do. I wasn't paying attention to how much time it took us to descend. I have no idea how deep we actually are. Hey, I'm going to explore a little bit. Really? Okay, don't go far. Be safe. Remember where you've gone. I'll just stay near the water. I can't lose my way that way.
dinosaur? A plesiosaur? Wow! Oh, no. no. Cow. I don't believe it. We are in trouble. We can't stay here. Let's get out. Ugh. What is it? I tripped on something. It's... Just pick it up quick. Let's go. So it looks like some sort of gem or something. Wow, might be valuable. Keep it. Oh no! Get your parrot. Go back down. Let's run. My parrot. I think it just saved our lives. But it's probably dead now. I didn't even notice this before. We're out. Let's make for the water. I say forget the storm. Let's make the raft now. Raft is done. Let's go. Wait, what's that? A monster! <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Push the raft out that way, to deeper water. What? Why? Just do it. He's almost on top of us with the monster. Watch this. Hey, you want this? Okay, go and get it. And uh, not the water. It will take forever for me to find. Push away. I think she's going for it. Get away now. Well, we are alive. Gosh, what the heck was that that you had? And why did she, that distorted thing, want it so badly? I don't know, but I figured it was worth getting rid of for our lives.
Hey, wait, look. It's my parrot. It followed me. My gosh, I can't believe it. Nice. Hey, do you think she was the one that caused all the trouble? Yes, I think that she was. It almost seemed like she had power. Ghostly power. Though unreal, it seems. But I think she did it all. The plane crashing, gremlins, everything else we saw, and all the paranormal stuff. And then maybe killing everyone from the facility. Or, they all died to some other monsters. Maybe even sea monsters if they tried to escape. I hope there are no sea monsters under us. It's a risk we have to deal with. You still have the compass? Yes. I can point us in the right way away from the island. Good. Let's keep going that way. hardly see. My eyes are sore from the bright light. But I can hear. It's a boat. Reeves, we did good. A boat has found us. We are saved. Thank goodness. We are saved from the island. Hey, what's that? It's a bottle with a note. What's it say? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I think it was from someone on the island. Maybe before they died, they actually cast off a message in a bottle. Well, read it. It says, We have only just discovered too late, and it explains the distortion in our communications. We were foolish to ever come here. We have discovered we have landed on distorted Alex's island. 